Hi, I'm Mark Ramsey, and I'm here on behalf of the Radio Advertising Bureau of South Africa to help you, the broadcaster, and you, the advertiser in South Africa, do a better job of connecting the dots between radio, between advertising, and between the all-important consumer. Today I want to talk to you about five key trends that are shaping radio in the year to come in 2010. These are things you may already hear playing out on the radio stations you listen to. They may be already playing out in the advertising community. If not now, then they will be soon. Trend number one, radio is everywhere. Radio is in every car, in every home, in every workplace. Almost everybody listens to it almost everywhere they go. That's not entirely a surprise. I think what is going to be increasingly obvious as time goes by is that radio isn't everywhere just in the form of radio. Radio is now in the new iPod uh, FM Nano. Radio will be in other iPods. Radio will be in other gadgets and devices. It's at, uh, in things we use around the house and things we use around the workplace and things we use as we travel about. Radio is going to be a part of appliances that aren't evident to you today. Radio could be in your refrigerator one day. Anything that can have a chip Anything that can have a speaker can contain a radio. It may be in the form of the traditional FM or AM chip. It may be in the form of the kind of radio that you get via Wi-Fi or 3G or whatever on, online. But in any event, no matter what the form, we are going to see and hear radio in more places and in more forms in the year 2010 and beyond than we do today. Number two, radio is everything. When we think of radio, we tend to think of it in, in terms of radio, the thing we define as radio today, the sound that comes out of the speakers from traditional, traditional radio, radio stations. But think about this for a moment. Once upon a time, Amazon used to be the world's largest purveyor of books online. While today it may still be the world's largest bookseller, it is oh so many other things. Not only does it sell many, many things besides books, but it creates virtual marketplaces for other people to sell their wares via Amazon. There are uh, author areas on Amazon. There are uh, Amazon is a publisher of books. Amazon has taken its capacity to store things, the cloud, and repurposed it and sold it to a variety of other uh, digital companies for their uh, services. There are files you probably save online and they're saved at Amazon and you didn't even know it. In other words, Amazon, the world's largest online bookseller, can become something much, much greater than that if it recognizes the true business that it's in. Now when I tell you radio is everything, I mean that radio is much more than just the audio itself. Radio is, at its heart, relationships. Relationships between consumers and advertisers mediated by this media entity called radio. So the question is, when you have those relationships between consumers and advertisers, what's the best way to leverage them? That, in fact, is the true business of radio in the years to come. And that is why radio will be more than just radio. Radio will be vertical destination sites, online and offline. Radio will be the um, blowing up of local events into events which are much more than simply one-time events done, gone, and over. It will be events that have a digital life outside of the event itself, mediated through radio. There will be new content leverage. There will be video stars created from the ranks of radio broadcasters. All of these things are going to fit within the parameters of the new definition of radio. Number three, between the songs is more important than the songs themselves. Between the songs is more important than the songs themselves. In other words, what makes radio special is not that it can put together a laundry list of songs and put them in a particular order and communicate it to everyone at once, because it turns out that capability is going to be available from a number of different sources in the future. What makes radio special is the fact that radio can put stuff in between the songs that makes those songs that much more attractive and that makes that radio station, in fact, much more than a collection of songs, it makes it a bona fide brand. I like to use some analogies here. For example, you know, if a book is available to you in a downloadable form, many people will download the book even if it's for free. Many more people will purchase that book, either online or off, in its traditional analog form, even though they have to pay for it. And the reason is 
that a book is more than the words on the page. A book is about the whole feeling of the book. It's about owning the book. It's about having a collectible experience. It's about, it's about being able to underline things. It's about all of that beyond just the words on the page. Another example, you can see a movie at home or you can see it with a crowd. Some people prefer the former, other people prefer the latter. Some months ago, I was at a screening, an outdoor screening, for a movie from the 1930s. And it was on top of a garage in Portland, Oregon. And here were, I would guess, one or two hundred people, all collected, so that they could watch at the end of this garage, on that screen, a, a movie that was 70 years old and widely available on DVD, widely available on uh, home video. Why in the world did they do this? Why did they choose to go to this experience with a lot of other people rather than watch it at home on their DVD in the comfort of their own home? The reason is because it was an experience. It was an experience greater than the movie itself. And all those other elements of that experience contributed to make it greater. That is what is going to be critical in radio in the months to come. The fact that what's between the songs make the songs better. Number four, more accountability. For the benefit of advertisers, we're going to see during the course of 2010 and beyond more and more accountability, accountability provided to you from the broadcaster. In other words, what is your goal, Mr. Advertiser? What do you want to achieve? Do you want to achieve uh, response? Do you want to achieve awareness? Do you want to achieve a change of thinking? All of these things are increasingly measurable and will be increasingly measurable by broadcasters through their digital assets and the power of their own audiences. That is coming in 2010. Finally, five, the ultimate local is you. The ultimate local is you. We talk a lot about the power of radio in a local context to be able to connect advertisers and consumers locally. There is nothing more local than you. The beauty of mobile devices is that it brings all media personally to me in a form that is customized and tailored to me. Radio has that capability as well. What we're going to find in the course of 2010 and beyond is an increasing proliferation of mobile devices and mobile applications that have radio as part of their element, not necessarily just radio stations. It could be consumer products, but there will be an audio entertainment element mediated in part by radio. And that's going to be a huge additional element in the marketing mix available to you, the advertiser, and you, the broadcaster. And that's all coming. A shift, more local, more personal, more you. Those are five points coming this year and beyond to the radio industry in your neck of the woods in South Africa. I'm Mark Ramsey, and I'm so grateful to be part of this series of videos produced by the, by the RAB of South Africa. You can find out more by going to the RAB's website at rab.co.za or email Norman Gibson directly at norman at rab.co.za. Thank you.